Hey friends, welcome back. Year before Sun's cancer battle, Michael Bubble showed their longtime former home at Christmas. Years ago, iconic artist Michael Bubble opened up the doors to his former beautiful longtime Vancouver mansion to give the public an inside look at Christmas. The residence was where he and his family celebrated Christmas a year before his son was diagnosed with cancer. At the age of three, following his son's cancer battle, the famous musician built a new home in his hometown. Legendary Hollywood musician Michael Bubble, 48, has built an extensive track record of success as a phenomenal entertainer during his years in the industry. Aside from being an iconic crooner, Bubble is a loving family man whose kids and wife mean the world and more to him. He is the doting husband to his beloved wife, Luisana Lopilato, 36, and a devoted papa bear to their four children. Years before welcoming more children, Lopilato and Bubble's eldest son, Noah, faced a terrifying health situation when he was just a baby. In 2016, tragedy hit their tight night family when little Noah was diagnosed with liver cancer at the age of three. As parents who have always cherished their family above everything else, Noah's parents were absolutely heartbroken over the tragic news. We are devastated about the recent cancer diagnosis of our oldest son, Noah, who is currently undergoing treatment in the U.S. Louisiana and I have put our careers on hold in order to devote all our time and attention to helping Noah get well. Bubble received a worrying message from his wife about something being wrong with their boy mere minutes before he was scheduled to appear on The One Show in London. Lopilato had texted him a picture showing a surgical scan, visibly showing that something was amiss. After somehow managing to complete his appearance, barely even remembering how his performance went, the home singer rushed to be with his family in Los Angeles via a private jet. Even when his baby boy, whom he calls his hero, was given all the clear to home, in spring 2017, Bubble still didn't feel all the way comfortable with making an immediate return to the stage. In fact, it wasn't until the end of 2017 that he felt more ready. Still naturally having to deal with arguably the most devastating time in parents' life, Bubble was still greatly affected by what had happened to his son even after he made a recovery. While sitting down for another interview he conducted a year after Noah's cancer battle, Bubble admitted that there were many times when he and Lopilato didn't want to wake up. There were a million times that my wife and I were just surviving, struggling to survive and to breathe. I much rather would have it have been me many times I wish that it had been. A year before Noah, who is doing well now, faced the toughest time of his life, he and his family celebrated Christmas in their former beautiful Vancouver residence, the 7100 square foot luxurious mansion boasts breathtaking city and oceanic views and is located on a south-facing lot on the upper echelon of Mathers Avenue. Bubbles Vancouver abode, which he had owned for over 10 years, has a 3,000 square foot landscaped area that includes private manicured gardens with a salt water pool, fire pit and hot tub. By the time the Feeling Good musician bought the house for in was only a year old. That's all for now. Subscribe for more.